All right, guys. So the first thing I started out with is the dollar spot. So I found this perpetual calendar. It was really cute because it was made of wood and you can basically just switch out the months and the days and just keep using it every single year. So I thought this was really cute. I love the Target dollar spot. The next thing I found is a game changer. It's this whiteboard weekly calendar. So they have this one, which is horizontal. And then I'll show you guys the next one. It is the vertical one, which is the one I picked up. And this is helping me so much for planning my videos every single week. So I can have it in front of me. I'm not like a big planner person. So I love this. And this is $5. And then I found these charging holder little container pouches I guess they're called these are three dollars each they had a couple different options so this is what the inside looks like it has a little um mesh thing up top and also has a divider so this one was blue if you like this color and it's just like a place to store your wires and your cables I know we have so many of them I know I do this one was a little different um it had like this little these little snaps that you can put the cords in so if you love organizing and hate the mess of cords I'm just showing you guys what the picture looked like so you can get an idea this one was a little different it's a felt organizer and this actually was like an accordion this was a smaller one so I'm showing you guys what the inside looks like I kind of look bleh, I kind of like this one because you could stuff the cords in um, or whatever you have Okay, then they had these little guys. These are like ceramic dishes. This is a little heart. These are cute for like jewelry and whatnot. You can also paint them if you want to. These were only a dollar. They also had this honeycomb print. And then they also had a circular dish. Okay, then we had this um, three-piece container glass set, which I thought was so cute. It was $3, so a dollar per container. And then they had this mini rose grow seed kit. I've seen these over the past couple months recently. And then this one was so cute. It is an aloe macrame hanging kit. I love using aloe, so I was interested in this. Super cute. And then they had one for thyme. So you can grow your own little veggie garden. Okay, they had these three packs of vinyl, so you can use these for a bunch of different things, but you can actually use this with your vinyl cutting machine. So you get three pieces, so it's a dollar a piece. They also had this pack, which was like some greens with some leaves. So I'm just showing you guys a close up of what the sheets looked like. So I thought that was a great find. And then they had these little um, fake plants, which were really nice quality. I liked how these all looked together. So you had um, a couple of different varieties. I really like fake plants. So um, these were super cute. These were $3 a piece. And then I'm just showing you guys a couple other ones that they had. I personally like greenery. And they had these little topiary trees, which were cute. I like this kind of style. And then just a couple other succulent plants that they had if you like greenery. Then they have these gliding exercise discs for $5. These are actually really challenging if you guys were looking for a nice uh, workout. And then I found these jars. These were stacked two in a pack. So um, I thought these were nice for just organizing your kitchen. These were $3, so $1.50 a piece. They also had these ones with the gold lids. This is one of my favorite finds, this wall letter board. So it's super cute. You can kind of see on the picture what it looks like there. You can put different phrases. You could put Bible verses. This was $5 and you get a lot of letters in the pack. So I actually saw someone on Instagram have two of them stacks. You could have four rows of these and it's like a nice wood ledge. So I just thought this was really creative and cute. I had never seen this before it's like a nice take on the um, letter board trend and then they had some wood food which would be cute for kids um, just for playing and whatnot I had never seen this before it kind of reminded me of like an old school toy which I really liked and this one was uh, sushi themed they had these cable clamps for your desk which are so helpful I actually got one of these for Nick's desk these were three dollars a piece so it's basically a way to organize all your desk cords. So that was that. And then this is the other one that I actually ended up picking up. Really helpful for organizing because you know cords can just be an absolute disaster, especially in desks. Okay, this was cute. It was a privacy pouch for like pads and tampons. I've also never seen this before. So it said privacy, please. Thought that was cute. And then this is a charge and listen for your iPhone or iPad. And this was $5. So I thought that was interesting. And then they had these warm white starry lights, which were 
uh, pretty fun. Then I found this privacy camera lens cover. This is good for your uh, laptop if you want to cover up your uh, camera lens when it's not in use. And this was actually only a dollar. I found some Valentine's Day dish towels that were cute. So this one was striped and it had hearts on the other side. And then we had this one. It said the secret ingredient is love. And that also had a little dish towel that went with it. And then they had this little like rosebud printed one. Okay, moving on to beauty, some new items. I found the e.l.f. CC Camo Cream. So this finally landed at Target. I wish I could use this, but the main ingredient in here is niacinamide, which you guys know breaks me out. So I can't use this. I'm so sad because I've heard it, it's great. So if you can use it, awesome. I'm super jealous. Um, I heard it is very similar to the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, which is one of my favorites, but I haven't repurchased that in so long. So anyways, you can pick this up at Target now and they had a decent amount of colors to choose from. They had a mini of the new NYX Marshmallow Primer. So if you don't want to spend the $17 crazy price tag for the big one, just get the mini if you want to test it out. I wish I had known about this before I got the big one. These are actually still pricey. They're $7.99. And then this is the e.l.f. Um, they like redesigned their blush and their bronzer palette a little bit. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, this is a peel off nail mask from Sally Hansen. You guys, this is so bad. I tried it out and it was terrible. I actually ended up uh, returning it. It did not work at all. It's basically like putting a peel off face mask on your hands and just a little gimmicky. And then they had some new little like hand masks, which I thought these were also pricey because you can get hand masks like this at the Dollar Tree. This is a new brand I saw at Target. It's called Starface. They have some pore strips. Um, this is called Space Wash. I believe these were $14. So it's definitely a, more of like a mid-tier brand. And then this is an exfoliating night water. The packaging is very eye-catching. Okay, then they had some clearance with uh, this essential oil fragrance brand, which I actually really like. Um, this is Good Chemistry. This one smelled really good, Pink Palm. They also had Wild Child. This was on clearance as well for $12. And they had this Daydreamer scent. So I like that it's based on essential oil blends. There's a new Yes To line. This is fragrance free and it's actually called Yes To Avocado. So um, I thought this was cool how it was fragrance free because I know everyone's trying to kind of stay in the fragrance free area for their skincare. They also had this daily eye cream. And then they had this uh, moisturizer. So daily mineral lotion. Then some more clearance, Soap and Glory Cooling uh, cooling Mousse. <laughs> that was $2.50 clearance. And then they also had this Paradise Gloss Mist. This was another clearance find. The DHC Deep Cleansing Oil was on clearance as well. I have used this in the past. It's pretty good. It's a little on the thick side for me. Like it is based off of olive oil. It's not my favorite cleansing oil, but I know a lot of people... Do enjoy it. It's just not my favorite. This was cool. I found the Aquise original hair turban. I've had my Aquise towel for years and it is such a good quality. So I thought this was a great find. I did not even know they had Aquise at Target. I found Spa Sciences uh, Derma Planer on clearance as well. I love this brand. I have a lot of their tools. They are great. And I also love um, using this tool to get rid of my peach fuzz. Here's another clearance find. I'm just showing you guys basically everything I found that was clearance from Cosmetica. This is Live and M Body Oil. I had never heard of this brand before, but um, I just wanted to share this with you guys. It had olive oil. My favorite find, the Pacifica Fierce Glow Radiance Bears. I love the Pacifica Vitamins. They are so, so good. So I definitely picked these up. They were $6.99, originally $14.99. There was a lot of L'Oreal on clearance, like their lipsticks. So I'm just showing you guys some of the colors. These were $2.99. So this was a pink shade. And then here's another one that was on clearance. 
So usually what this means is they're prepping to bring in new stuff, which is cool. The LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil was on clearance for $150, so I thought that was a great find. I'm oh, sorry, $167. So I actually have that, and it's really good. Um, some Maybelline Foundation. Super cheap, $2.39. We had a few different colors. We have number seven airbrush away foundation. This was on clearance as well. And then some of the LA Girl Pro concealers, this was in beautiful bronze, were also on clearance for $2.50. And then the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation was on clearance for $3.99. And then Maybelline Super Stay Concealer, one was priced at $4 and then one was priced at $2.99. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.